hi ho, hi ho, off to Germany we go. Okay guys, so just finished the official Berlin shakeout run this morning. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing international vibes. Um, the team was in full flow this morning. Uh, you know, there were so many of us, especially in, in the new kit, it was looking awesome. And yeah, it was good to embrace my South African heritage a little bit as well. Um, so many people flew over from South Africa for this race. The social side of running and the benefits of it is just incredible like i've always said time is, is honestly just a bonus so yeah what a morning um and then i'm gonna head off to the um, elite hotel shortly to do my drinks and hand in my my bottles for tomorrow but before i hand my drinks and i just want to run through a few things so the first of which is um you know you need to control as much as you can when you go to an international race you're obviously out of your comfort zone you're out of your normal routine you're out of your normal space and you want to control as many factors as possible so to give you an example um i bought my own peanut butter from home I bought my own coffee from home. I got my bread. So this is going to be my race day breakfast. Um, it's perfect. It's all I need. Obviously, I'd normally go for a toasted bagel. But unfortunately, I don't have a toaster yet. But this will do. Just as good. Um, what else? I bought my pillow from home. So really in my comfort zone. Bought my travel massage gun. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is you want to just replicate what you've been doing as much as possible. Um, so that it's less things to worry about come race day you want to prepare as best as possible here's a couple of tips for you so um preparation is so key in race week so like an example this week i knew i had so much work to get through um so what i did was from last week saturday so a week ago i really started putting in um extra hours in the first probably four days um and just completely got on top of things and that gave me peace of mind so you know the last two days have been relatively stress-free and I think always try and get on top of as much as you can in the first half of the week so that you can prepare your mind as best as possible for the race. The second thing is to build in routine. Okay, so find out what time the race is starting. I know Berlin is starting at, at quarter past nine. And try and get your body used to running at that time, going to sleep at that time, you know, having breakfast and coffee at the times you usually would. And then the last thing is food. So like I said, I'm sorted for my race day fueling. Um, try and do a bit of research before you go. You know, see where 
supermarkets are or, or restaurants that could suit you for what you're looking for. Okay, now onto my drink mix tomorrow and how I'm gonna be fueling for Berlin. So um, thankfully I've got an elite start, so I'll have a drink station every five kilometers. So that's pretty much eight drink tables in total. And what I'm gonna do is, so I've got beta fuel drink mix here. I've got three sachets, okay? There's 80 grams of carbs in each. So in total, there's 240 grams of carbs right here, which is quite a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this with an hour to go up until the start of the race. So just sip away at this, okay? Then these two drink mixes, I'm gonna mix across eight bottles. I probably won't get through all of it, but at least there's the option that I've given myself, um, depending on how I feel. I find often in races that you feel good early on, so it's crucial to fuel well throughout, but it's easier to fuel substantially from earlier on. So get that fuel in because towards the latter part of a marathon, even though you need it, you often don't feel like it. And if you can stomach a little bit amazing, but sometimes, you know, you can't. So that's where fueling early on really is crucial. Um, and then I'm definitely gonna add in some ketones. So. Um, as you know, it's been an addition to this block um, and it definitely sort of picks me up physically and mentally straight away. So these are gonna go into my drink mix spread across my eight bottles. And then gel wise, I've got these beta fuel gels. Um, so 40 grams of carbs in each. So 40, 80, 120 grams of carbs, yeah. Um, I'll take one at the start and then one a third of the marathon, which is 14 Ks and then two thirds in 28 Ks. And then bottles wise, so I'm even more prepared this year than last year. I bought this over with me from London. So I bought some tape and I've got, these are like straws with balloons on the end. They, they're actually for water balloons, but I thought they're perfect. So I'm gonna strap this to my bottle and on each table, there's about 12 bottles. So you really want yours to stick out. <sighs> okay, so the last and final things I wanna say is that, um, you know, the support this block has been honestly incredible and I think you know, every time I showcase my training, it gets a little bit more and more and I, I thrive with it. it. It honestly helps motivate me too. And I've received so many messages over the past couple of days saying, thank you so much for sharing it. They've, people have learned so much. It's helped them achieve this, this, this. And that's my whole purpose for sharing this is so that you can learn as much as possible and that, you know, hopefully some stuff I've learned from being a 317 marathoner to a 220 but yeah the support has been absolutely overwhelming and I, I can't thank you enough i want to um break 220 for you guys so badly because like i can feel that so many people out there want me to do it because you can almost sense how badly i want to do it but like i said ultimately i want to do it so much for myself just to prove that i can do it and yeah, with just a few hours to go, I've actually got a sense of calm. Like, you know, the training, the magic is made in the training. You can't just not train well, rock up to a marathon and have an absolute blinder. Marathons don't work like that. The hardest parts is in training and that's where the magic is made. And marathons, yes, they hurt a lot, but it's such a tiny portion of the whole block that it's almost the victory lap. And when you're in pain, that last third of a race, deep pain, demon screaming, just think it's such a small section and whatever you put in during that phase, you'll look back one day and thank yourself for doing it. So if you get to that phase, just think of me, I'm gonna be absolutely on my limits, giving it all I got and I find that thinking of success helps motivate me more than thinking of failure. So knowing that there's a chance I can do sub 220, like gives me so much fuel and, and fire inside me, much more than what if I don't do 220? What if I have a shock of a day? Like, no, we can't think like that. That, that. that doesn't motivate us as much as, you know, thriving to achieve something that is wild that you thought you could never could. Yeah, dialing in the mind and the work is done. What will be, will be. Thanks for the support. Let's go.
Okay, so here's a look at the lead start area. You come in from the front of the race and there's the lead car right there. This spot right over here is where our fist pump kept showing you last year. You won't believe it. Guess who came and sat on the bench right next to me? The GOAT Kipchoge himself. And there's his coach, Patrick Sang. Wow, wow, wow. Give me some words. Yeah, guys, uh, ready as can be. You know what? This race is incredible. I've got goosebumps all over my body. Um, but at the same time, I've done enough marathons to know that marathons are brutal. They're not fairy tales. So, you know, the magic is made in training. This is the victory lap. Hopefully, there's about 100 variables. Hopefully, they all kick today. And um, it's one of those days. But yeah, what a privilege and honor to be here. So you come out from the elite tent over there through to the start area. And I think I was probably the first doing a few warm-ups and strides. Guess what's coming? Guess what's coming? My hero. Boom shakalaka. Go get it champ. It's go time. One, go! I'll speak through my thoughts as best as possible, but I really want you to get a good experience of the race vibe. You have so much adrenaline at the start and it's crucial to not expend unnecessary energy and surge. Unfortunately, there was orange paint thrown at the start and uh, yeah, not so good for my beautiful white shoes, but hey, let's check the lead pack flying through here with Kipchoge in it and attacking a world record. Here I come, straight through the paint. The margins are tight, I can't afford to lose any seconds, so I don't want to spend energy jumping. I got into a really good sub 220 group. Pace was consistent, just what I'd envisioned going into the race. Through the first five kilometers in 318 on the money. Go on, Woo! Love the support, absolutely thrive of it, and I have to give little waves along the way. Seriously. Go on, Nick! Go on, Nick! Come on, Nick! Keep in there, man! 10k splits, 32.55, feeling super comfortable, but it's early days. Go on, Nick! Let's go, buddy! Focusing, saving all that energy for the last third because that's where it's going to be made. <laughs> what an atmosphere. Halfway split, 69.44, just as planned, feeling like a million bucks. If I can sustain this for the second half, that'll leave me in 2.19.28 time. Come on, Nick, this is the day you've been working for. Ale, 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 come on, buddy, come on! We were sharing the work really nicely between us. There was no surging. I honestly could not have asked for a better pack. Today is the day. Come on, buddy, come on! Go on, Nick! Woo! Go on, Nick! Okay, the pack's dropped off. I knew this would happen. There's two of us. We're still cruising along nicely. Lots of time in the bank. Go on, Nick! Seven Ks to go. It's starting to get tough, but here's my splits. I'm still on track for a 2.19.39. Let's go, Nick, come on! 
Come on, buddy, come on! And then I started struggling. Let's go, Nick, let's go! My form is dropping off. I'm looking at my watch regularly, knowing that I can lose three seconds a K, but I'm losing more than that, and there's nothing I can do about it. Ale, Nick, ale, ale, ale! Come on, buddy, come on! Bring it home! So busy, but so lonely. Ale, ale, ale! Let's go, buddy, let's go! Come on! Come on, Nick! Here comes the finish. I've given it absolutely all I've got and I can sense Charlotte Perdue is hunting me down. Klaus Busch! They are here? Yep. Let's go! Come on, let's go! Go, 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 go! Let's go, Nick! Let's go, Nick! I'm disheartened. I've missed my goal, but I am absolutely fighting with all I've got for every second. The stretch right here is what I envisioned throughout training. a case of I had it I had it I had it <clears throat> until I didn't at 30 K's I was celebrating I was I was so comfortable for so long and I just had to keep it together for 12 more K's 12 more K's. and um, <laughs> At 35 k's, I was still at so much time in the bank, but I knew the way I was feeling. It just comes so quickly, guys. Like, oh, you know, I I always tell my athletes that the marathon only starts at 30 k's, and it only starts at 30 k's. Like, <clears throat> I got all my drink stations i worked in a group so nicely the support out there was incredible conditions were good it was a day to go do it but i just couldn't i just couldn't and um you know what i i've got no excuses i just i don't think i was in sub 20 shape today you know life's been life's been crazy in a good way work's been amazing two kids is amazing and i just i haven't been able to fit in the time to get into sub 20 shape and 
and I thought I was there. I was so mentally strong today. I believed, I believed, I believed. But when you physically stuff like that, each K feels like a mountain to climb. And I was just looking ahead and it was taking so long for the kilometers to come last bit. Basically, I lost two and a half minutes in the space of seven Ks. And there was nothing I could do about it. Oh, man. Oh. It's not sub 220 and guys if it's not sub 220 it's not the end I still believe back to the drawing board no excuses no regrets it was the hardest thing I've ever done I left it all out there Berlin you amazing thing boom shakalaka let's go Oh, marathons, oh, marathons. I just want to go again. Give me another chance. Give me another chance. <laughs> um, yeah, it just shows you that pain is temporary. That last 12Ks, last 8Ks actually only hurt, but 8Ks felt like 80Ks. Um, but it's over, and the legs are actually feeling pretty good thanks to those 100-mile weeks. Um, so, yeah, I was informed that next year it's the 50th edition of Berlin Marathon I mean it would be rude not to right <laughs> I'm really talking about the marathon next year oh my word um, but yeah I think it's going to be time to get into incredible shape next year and give it another go but first it's time to find the biggest schnitzel and biggest sign in Berlin Germany let's go get it Massive congrats to my teammates at Best Athletics. Check out those epic PBs. And a huge shout out to Anya Culling, who delivered once again third British female overall in an epic time of 2.35. Thank you so much to these two legends over here, Philip and Flo. Well done, champ. Well done, well done, well done. As always, I went back to support, so the rest of this video is runners coming in. Hey, so I bumped into uh, Wesley over here and Sophie. How was today? Today was awesome. She's the star of the day. She is sub 320. There we go. Sub 320. What was that yes. time? She's still eleven minutes in the bag. Yes. Next to all the sub three hours for her. <laughs> congrats, congrats, guys. Thanks, You're the best. Thanks. Well done, well your, done. Your, your next journey. Awesome. Thank sure, you so much. Sure. Take care. Bye bye. Cheers, 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 guys. Well done, well done. Congrats. Eh? Woo! Let's go, best athletics. Check, he has a Seth as winning Pro Evo shoes in the bag. Thanks for watching. What a race it was. And wow, I will work as hard as I can to get that last fifth of the marathon right. And we'll get that sub 220 next time. Let's go.
Training im ganz allein im Sommer im Wald. Hier ist aber wo es auch ruhig ist. Wir machen mal die Musik aus. Wir wollen schon die Difference between practice all along in the forest. Get a beat. Und das just calm down. So lang und so bauen. Kann es sein, wenn man Training ist. Cheers guys, play hard, work hard. Race recap coming soon.